Hi everyone, welcome to The Wild Side. And this week, we talk about this incredible, tiny little creature. What is it? Let's walk on the wild side of the Tenric. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of The Wild Side with Clay. And this week, my guest is a lesser hedgehog, Tenric. Now I know I just said hedgehog, and you might think they are hedgehogs, but Tenrics are actually more closely related to shrews and golden moles. In fact, uh, as the San Diego Zoo's website says about the Tenric, if they could talk, the first sentence out of a Tenric's mouth would probably be, I am not a hedgehog. Now, of course, the Tenric would be thought to be a hedgehog. I mean, just look at those hair-like quills. And they can roll up into a ball to protect themselves. But unlike the porcupines we featured here on the show, those quills cannot detach. They are simply modified hairs and a deterrent. They don't feature any of the other kind of defense mechanisms of the quill, such as the waxy tip that makes you very, very itchy. Although this animal has quills that resemble more of a hedgehog, there are some species of tenric that have quills like a porcupine on the back part of their body, which they use to defend themselves just like a porcupine. How incredible is that? Now, of the over 26 known species of tenric, you can find these animals having a variety of different looks. Some look like hedgehogs, some look closely related to marsupials, and some look even more closely related to shrews, voles, and of course moles. And again, although he looks like a hedgehog, he's not. These animals are endemic and natively found in Madagascar, which is an island country right off the eastern coastline of Africa. Now, when full grown, a tenric is around 29 centimeters long, and they can weigh up to a whole kilogram, which is about 2.2 pounds, a very tiny little creature. Now, with the greater tenric being some of the largest, the smallest species of tenric, the smallest kind of tenric on the planet, weighs less than half of a poker chip, a chip you use while playing a game of Texas Hold'em. That's about five grams for one of the smaller species. And some species of tenric can even swim. Unlike Charles, who's an arboreal animal spending most of his time in the trees, some tenric find their lifestyle choice as being an aquatic creature, diving into the waters of Madagascar, looking for small fish, crustaceans, and water insects. Now, Charles here, who's an animal ambassador at the Abilene Zoo in Abilene, Texas, is more of the arboreal kind, spending a lot of his time in the trees or in the logs of trees, staying away from predators and finding his prey. What are they looking for? Well, they're looking for insects. They're looking for invertebrates. They're looking for eggs. They're also eating plants, making this animal omnivorous, but primarily eating an insectivore style diet with extremely sharp teeth, an incredible sense of smell, and an incredible sense of hearing to chase down those tiny prey items. Tenrics like this have a life expectancy of around five to 20 years. Of course, that life expectancy range is so vast because in Madagascar, their life expectancy is a lot shorter than those under human care in zoological facilities around the world. Now, if you think the adults are cute, the babies are even cuter. Often called youngsters by scientists, a female tenric is pregnant for around two months. Now, I know what you're thinking. She's probably gonna do one to four babies, right? Well, research has shown that these animals can have nearly three dozen babies in a litter. And of course, these little animals immediately start looking for food and nursing off of mom. After having three dozen babies, you gotta think, well, how long are they hanging around mom? They stay with mom for about a month after birth, and then it's on to life on their own. Now, these animals are listed of least concern on the IUCN list of endangered, threatened, or you know, common species. But I must say that even though the tenric is listed as least concern, their habitat sure is not. 
Madagascar is an island country the size of the state of Texas, and over 93% of the island has been deforested or destroyed, leading to the loss of habitat for animals such as the fusa, the lemurs, chameleons, radiated tortoises, spider tortoises, and this beautiful animal, animal the tenric. Now, how do you help an island country that's over 93% deforested? Well, the first step you can take, and really the biggest step, is saying no to furniture made from exotic wood. Wood harvested exclusively from the Malagasy forest these animals call home. If we can reduce the demand of the Malagasy furniture, we can increase the habitat size and support conservation groups that are right now working to replant, replenish, and restock the forests of Madagascar. With over 60 different species of lemur, the fusa, the chameleon, the tortoises, the insects, the fish, the birds, and the small mammals like the tenric, Madagascar is an ecological wonder, much like that of the Galapagos or Australia, where species are found there and nowhere else on planet Earth. So we have to help protect the island nation of Madagascar. And what step you can take is saying no to Malagasy furniture. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of The Wild Side, where we talked all about this beautiful tenric. Of course, as always, find your wild side. Remember, conservation rules, and we'll see you the next time we walk on the wild side of some of your favorite species. Until then, I'm going to go take climbing lessons from this beautiful tenric. Bye, everybody.